Lady Ruby Freeman viewed her civic duty as a Fulton County election worker as a sacred mission to ensure the people of Georgia could exercise their fundamental right to vote freely and fairly. In the 2020 election, she upheld that sacred mission despite an orchestrated campaign to overturn the election and that targeted and threatened her and her family. And today, we the people honor Lady Ruby Freeman as part of our nation's voting rights history. This afternoon, as the House of Representatives continued to fail to elect a speaker, don't worry, they will be back in the next hour to try it again, President Biden awarded the Presidential Citizens Medal to 14 people, including veteran elections workers Ruby Freeman and her daughter Shay Moss. Both women were forced to quit their jobs and go into hiding after the 2020 election when they received nonstop death threats. Those threats were thanks to failed presidential candidate Donald Trump and his lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, who falsely claimed that Freeman and her daughter tampered with Fulton County, Georgia ballots. They did not. And Trump's own Justice Department told them so. But those claims, unfounded though they were, turned those women's lives upside down. As Ms. Freeman testified to the January 6th committee this summer, she reached a point where she didn't feel safe anywhere, and she couldn't even use her own name in case someone recognized her. And now, two years later, Donald Trump is doubling down on the very same lie that sparked that initial harassment. On Truth Social this week, Trump again falsely claimed that Freeman and Moss were, quote, stuffing the ballot boxes. Trump has already been told that that claim is a lie. But he is repeating the smear anywhere. Only, anyway, only this time, there could be repercussions for him. And that is because Freeman and her daughter have already sued Rudy Giuliani for defamation. And that case is ongoing. So far, they haven't been able to pursue Trump for his seemingly defamatory language in 2020. He might be insulated from claims he made during his presidency. But, and this is the catch, Donald Trump is not the president anymore, regardless of what he may say or think. And he certainly wasn't president this week when he repeated lies about Freeman and Moss. They could sue him for this. So the question is, will they add to Trump's web of legal live wires, any one of which could slap him with an indictment in the coming months?